Hey everyone, my name is Jacques Blom, and today I'm going to show you what you're going to learn in my upcoming free recoil course. So a while back, I released a handful of tutorial videos on YouTube that show you how to set up recoil and use it to build high performance apps. Many of you loved watching the videos and learning about recoil, but because recoil is always changing and growing, and because I didn't cover everything I wanted to in my videos, I've decided to create a free recoil course that will take you from beginner to a recoil expert. In this video, we're going to go through what you'll learn in the course. You're going to learn all there is to know about recoil by building a clone of the popular drawing tool Excalidraw. We're going to start by setting up recoil and a simple canvas where you can add a shape, drag it around, and resize it. You can really check out this first bit of the app that we'll build at app.learnrecoil.com. Next, we're going to take full advantage of Recoil's high-performance features such as Atom Family and Selector Family to add rotating, multi-select, and an edit property sidebar. This will show you how you can build super high-performance apps with Recoil, even if you have a large number of components on the page. Then, to learn how we can persist and rehydrate Recoil state, we're going to build a Save Drawing to File feature, where we save the drawing state to file and then add the functionality to reopen the file again. And to take recoil state persistence a step further, we're also going to add functionality to save the drawing to a server and generate a shareable link. Then, if someone opens that link, it'll download and rehydrate the recoil state. And to allow uploading of images and other rich media onto the canvas, we're going to make use of recoil's async capabilities, along with React Suspense. This will show you how you can use recoil and suspense with async operations like loading images or loading data. Then, to explore how we can further boost performance, we're going to enable concurrent mode in React and see how Recoil works with it. Concurrent mode isn't quite ready for production yet, but this will make sure that you're ready to use Recoil with concurrent mode when it is ready for production. And to learn how we can deeply integrate into Recoil, we're also going to build our own DevTools Chrome extension to debug our Recoil app. Then, to make sure our app is performing as it should, we're going to explore techniques we can use to debug, test, and improve Recoil performance so that you can build high-performing apps with Recoil. And with all of the code we write, we're going to add comprehensive tests, and the course will include a special section on testing too. So then you'll know exactly how to write tests for your Recoil state to make sure that your code always works. And this is just a high-level overview of the things that we're going to cover. The course is going to contain a bunch of tips and tricks that you can use to take full advantage of Recoil. So if you're ready to master Recoil and use it like a pro, sign up for my free course at learnrecoil.com now so that you'll be the first to know when the first videos come out. Also, the course is a work in progress, so if there is anything you would like to learn about Recoil, feel free to get in touch. You can DM me at Jacques underscore codes on Twitter or send me an email at me at jacquesblom.com. So head over to learnrecoil.com today to sign up. Cheers, everyone. Looking forward to you signing up, and I'll see you there.